I make no I make no qualms about how much I dislike Eric Griffin. And I think to be fair to Eric Griffin, to be fair to him, it's not his fault. It's mostly his personality and how it kind of is representative of a lot of people I've kind of worked with in regular life. And I kind of say that with a lot of confidence. I've worked in a lot of shitty jobs. I've worked a lot of decent jobs. And you sometimes come across these type of personalities in people that work in these kind of places that you kind of see in other areas of life. And that's when you realize the older you get, oh, people are just, you know, some people can be dickheads. But it's good to get an experience on how to deal with these people at, at work. So when you meet them in another, you know, aspect of your life, you know how to kind of deal with them. So when I see Eric Griffin and how he kind of acts, you know, he's fucking you know snaky ways how two-faced he can be one you know before he never liked brendan he spoke about how he was he didn't really deserve a spot in comedy and he started off in football and mma now he's doing stand-up he never was a fan of him so he's brendan started paying him money and started giving an opportunity to kind of feed his family and put food on the table suddenly brendan's the best thing ever he's defending him he's sucking him off and doing all that sort of like weird shit right and obviously the bobby lee stuff is awful too I think that's a that's kind of a bad sign on him. The fact that he was friends with Bobby Lee for a long time, him and Bobby went to a podcast that doesn't go through, and he said Bobby does it with Andrew Santino. Uh, I think that's a big indication on like you know Eric Griffin's kind of personality, how he's regarded by his friends in comedy, that they would go out of their way to not include him and kind of be like, no, we're not doing a show with you. We're gonna have you as a guest here and there, but you know you're a bit weird. So all that being said. Eric is now doing this thing, and I've noticed it in a few clips. I've only got one clip here from the Friday Night Kids, I'm going to play. But there's other clips as well that I've seen. I'm not to sure show you guys if you've seen the same thing. On the on the golden hour, Eric Griffin's now doing this thing where he's breaking the fourth wall, talking to the camera, talking to the people watching, maybe people like myself, other other people on Reddit and shit. And he's basically doing his best to defend Brendan aloud. It's a weird heel turn. It's a weird fucking flip. But he's now becoming the resident fucking, you know, Brendan Shaw cockstroke or something on this show. It's odd to see. He does this thing where he's kind of like going out of his way to be like, Brendan, man, if only people saw you like this, they'd know how you cool you. Like he's doing this odd thing. He does it a lot. So I don't know if you guys have seen it yourself. I'm going to play the clip and you can kind of maybe see what I mean. But it's incredibly disgusting. I'm not going to lie. It makes me want to vomit in my own mouth seeing another grown man suck off another grown man like this that they didn't like to begin with because, you know, they had their own qualms. And the moment they start to pay them, suddenly they're fucking sucking off. It's incredibly disgusting. Let's play the clip. It's so weird. You're such a softy and people don't even know. So soft. You know what I yeah. mean? Mm. The, you know, the, that, that's I what, the, that, that's though, what they need to uh, make a Reddit about. Brendan is soft. Yes. <laughs> Brendan's so soft. He's calling us soy boys. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He, he cried during episode five of Black Mirror. Yeah. So, have you guys noticed that? Or am, I, am, I, am I the only one? Like, he's looking directly into the camera saying, oh, if only people know, man, you're so soft, you're so this, you're so that. He does this a lot now. He's really, really laying you on thick with Brendan. Extra, extra lube. Like, he's really going for it. Like, hey, I want to make this as comfortable as it is for you. I want to feel like the fucking Mexican. I want you to, like, not even be able to tell it's me. I'm going to shave my ass. I'm going to make it, like, you know fucking smooth like how you know chris alia likes the asses of the girls that he allegedly does his shit with right like that like that's how far he's going down the line like it would surprise me if he was like mid fucking when fans are calling in under the fucking desk you know giving the guy a little bit of sloppy toppy it's it's kind of gross to see and i wonder what's happening has his wife found out that she's gonna have twins are they having triplets instead? Three mouths of feed now? Two mouths of feed? Like, what's going on? Why is he going so high? Am? And again, I wish I had more clips to play, but I'm sh I've seen it in other clips of Chris, or sorry, of Eric doing this thing where he's consistently going out of his way to suck up to Brendan on the show. And it's kind of ghastly. And again, think about the gold now. Think about the clips that I played on here. There's some clips I played on here where Chris uh, is kind of looking a little bit fed up with Brendan. There's clips I played on here of Eric Griffin rolling his eyes at what Brendan says, right? And kind of teasing him, saying some funny things about him. To imagine going from that point of view, or imagine going from that approach on a show to now suddenly starting to glaze him. You're glazing him super fucking hard. Two hands on the fucking, you know what I mean? Two hands on the fucking jobby. Like, what's going on here? What do you guys think is happening? Um, 
<laughs> what? What did I say? No, hold on. She got, who says here? Yoshi. She got moved from visual merchandiser to register. Times are tough. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Soy boy can't reply. Exactly. Exactly. Koila, I don't get that. Let's not even Koila. Let's not even go for that soy boy joke thing that he tries to do with the fucking black mirror. Let's not do that. Because I love how the Fire and the Kids subreddit made it where if you type in soy boy on Google, I think he comes up first, if I'm not mistaken. Let me just see if I can actually do it on here. I'm sure if you type in, let me see if I can actually do it. But for a long time, if you did, like, let's see, let's see here. If you did this, right? If you said soy boy, you see Brendan's image. Let me see if this is still true. They made it. I don't know how they did it. Some fucking thing they did. But I'm sure, let's, not, let's, let's all take off safe search because that's lame. Um, off. Oh, it's off, okay. But let's see. I'm pretty sure he was somewhere high up on here. The picture of him with a hat. Let's see if I can see. I just pressed soy boy. Let's see. Okay, maybe I'm wrong. Okay, you get that guy there from that right wing grifter. Do you know, know Brendan? Oh, man. I failed dr dramatically in this one. Wamp, wamp, wamp. No, no, Brendan. There's a what picture of him with a hat. He's got that funny hat on. Maybe they took it down. Maybe um, Cast Media came in or bent pixels and fucking gadoosh that picture. Maybe. But you see all the fucking, you know, the soy boy. You, have you have you stopped doing that by yourself? Guys, on, guys, especially guys out there. I like Now that this has become the symbol of soy boyism, right? The fucking open mouth shit. I purposely go out my way not to have my mouth open when I take pictures now because I don't want to be like, you know what I mean? Labeled a fucking soy boy. It's actually worked really well. I'm not going to lie. I love that one, right? From Mr. Beast, how to eat like a soy boy. I'm sure that's not the one, but yeah, okay. Brendan Shaw picture doesn't exist. Fuck. Before they did it really well. They had this thing where they had the first picture of Brendan that came up was him in that fucking horrible um, orange fedora thing um in his purple porsche somewhere but anyway it doesn't matter that's changed now you know what i mean uh chin took it down exactly <laughs> chin took it down um 